Hi guys. So in my last video, you saw me having two inverters on the table. They are still here. And both of them have an AC side failure. And I was kind of optimistic when I saw the initial measurements. So I thought that we might have a chance to fix them. And I told you I have to further investigate the devices. I have unscrewed the boards. I took a look on the back side of the PCBs and my optimism is unfortunately completely gone. I also want to tell you that I was looking a few videos on YouTube about repair attempts of such sun inverters with AC faults. And also there I have to tell you that I did not find a repair video with a successful repair attempt when they have an AC fault. So all about AC faults and yeah, let me show you what I found and then we are talking about if there is any way uh, to save these devices or not. So this here is the 2000 watt inverter and yeah as you can already see, we have extensive burn areas. This is probably a broken transistor. All these uh, current sensing resistors here are completely burned. And not just that, if you see here from these uh, sensing resistors, there are very small traces which are for metering. And you might see it that even the solder mask actually peeled off. That means that the trace got really hot and it was destroyed. It even broke here. And these traces are going on the back side of uh, the PCB and there's electronic circuits there which are taking care of the measurement. So even if I would take the job and replace, let's say the transistor, all these resistors, you still have the issue that most probably because this trace just blew up, that the circuitry behind also might have some damage. So the 2000 watt inverters, I will not even try to fix. This will be a donor board for the 1000 watt inverter. And let me show you what happened there. Kind of similar picture, unfortunately. Also an area where something blew up. Um, this is as well here, a transistor. The color from the solder changed. Traces seem to be good. I will clean up the board just to see if there is anything going on underneath the smoke here. And yeah, I hope that at least the 1000 watt inverter can be saved. The 2000 watt inverter, I have already ordered a new one. I have not taken the component out, what I thought was a transistor, but actually it's tested as a functional diode. Let me show you something on the 2000 watt inverter quickly. So I hope you can see this here. You will see a small IC that's next where on the other inverter I took off, where I took the diode out. And this is a driver I see, I think, for the transistors. And this one completely blew off the top. This, what I saw on other videos on the internet about these inverters, when they have AC failures, in many cases that I see, that I see will be damaged. And this is most of the cases then a no-go because as you might see it is 
nearly impossible to go inside there and remove that, I see. You would have to remove all these uh, coils here first and this is almost not possible. So anyways, the 2000 watt inverter has a much bigger damage than the 1000. I think I can uh, still put back that uh, diode here. Because the resistance on the AC actually is uh, almost 800 kilo ohms. And this for me actually uh, sounds quite uh, normal. Um, I have cleaned the board. So I will look under the lens again if I can find anything else and I will just put back the diode and just try it again. I know the fuse is blown so the fuse is here. This one I will replace with the fuse from the other uh, inverter because that one is still working and yeah, with a little bit luck the inverter is actually uh, not uh, faulty at all. So let's see. So yeah, I have changed the fuse. I have reinserted the diode. Then I've plugged in the inverter to see what, uh, if it will work and then it just blew out that I see again. On the other side, now there is uh, the other diode dark. So. This inverter unfortunately also failed. Yeah, that's the unfortunate situation with the sun inverters and AC faults. When you have an AC fault, means the inverter is uh, popping some transistors on the AC side. It will always kill the gate driver, the so-called U3 IC on the board. The problem with that I see is, as you know already now, the position where it is placed. It is nearly impossible without completely uh, removing the heat sinks here in the middle, then a few capacitors around them and probably even these uh, coils right next to it to work on that I see. So it's an uh, intense work uh, to do and the other thing is it is unfortunately absolutely unsure what will actually happen after you remove and replace probably all the transistors. Then those shunt resistors which are also burned out and then you don't know how this measurement circuit actually suffered because of that short on the AC side. Because it could be that here also the uh, MCU which is built in here for measurement also maybe have a damage. And so unfortunately Sun inverter doesn't really matter you see it's the 2000 or the 1000 they all suffer the same problem. It is a total loss. Is there any way to prevent uh, such a damage? So if this was really an external uh, issue, let's say uh, over voltage from a lightning strike somewhere nearby, I already had SPDs there. The next one to these uh, inverters was in the main distribution board. The issue with that SPD is, and that's why I'm also replacing them with another one, they have been rated for 375 volts AC. So I'm going to replace them now for 275 volt SPDs. So the voltage, clamping voltage will be reduced and hopefully when there is a surge next time uh, the voltage will be better kept in uh, a safe value. 
So unfortunately I had to spend another $420 to replace these two inverters with new ones. You could also as an alternative just replace the power board but at the moment uh, I did not find a power board for the 2000 watt inverter. These two inverters now in average lived for about one and a half years. The power wall in those one and a half years has saved us around one thousand dollars. So yeah, four hundred less of that the power wall still saved about six hundred dollars just with this equipment. It's unfortunate and let's hope that it will not happen so soon anymore. But you see uh, electronics, mains voltage can be a challenge especially you know in the climate like this we have to expect a lot of thunderstorms during the year especially during the rainy season and at that time it's also hot and humid and this equipment here these are actively cooled inverters they are open on top and bottom they are ventilated by fans this is of course not the best way in a climate like this. Also, I never had issues with my grid time inverters, which are completely sealed off and passively cooled only by heat sinks, etc. Like this. So, unfortunate. If I am Suntec, the company who is building this, I would actually completely redo these inverters, build them passively as they have many other models, right? There's a lot of uh, Sun models by many, many different vendors which are built like that, Grita inverters. And yeah, so there would be surely a way to build this better, make them a little bit better protected against outside influences. Yeah, what is going to happen with these two inverters so maybe I will play around remove some transistors of the 2000 model and still put it on the uh, 1000 watt model and if I can find out what kind of gate driver I see this is then maybe at some point uh, sometime I want to try to replace it but as I said, you never know if there is some further damage and if this can be successful at all. If you have any idea what kind of inverter could be used instead of this one. So it should be a grid tight inverter which is able to be powered by a battery and it must be limited at the output. If you know anything like that, please let me know. Maybe I can try to use different equipment in my power wall, which is more reliable than this. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I see you next time.